Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over my exact export settings I use from After Effects when I'm doing visual effects and then I'm sending them to Premiere and then at the end we'll go through I guess my export settings for Premiere. So in After Effects here I used to always use AVI lossless or QuickTime with the format set to animation because those are the highest quality files you can get. I always wanted to preserve all the quality in After Effects and then when I brought it over to Premiere that's where I could lower it with when I export it for YouTube and stuff like that. Looking back at the file sizes, they're just too large. When I did my frosty montage, you can see a picture here, but the folder size was almost 800 gigs because I did lots of visual effects in After Effects. And even though they were short, I would export a file, then bring it into Premiere and the file sizes just added up over time where it, it, it got a little too out of hand. So my goal was to lower the quality slightly so I could reduce the giant file size. And these are the two presets I came up with. So my first one is called QuickTime No Audio DNX HD 10 which is a QuickTime codec. I have my format set to DNX HD uh, high quality 10 bit. I know some of these files aren't 10 bit, but I'm just keeping at this to keep it a large file size. And this was a lot smaller for the file size rather than animation and my lossless one before. Obviously these are still large files, but it's slightly smaller. So it gave me a lot more space in my folder. When I worked at Airbud Entertainment here in Vancouver as a VFX editor and earlier an assistant editor. We use proxies to create our movies because the file sizes are too big to use the RAWs. And they always use DNX HD 36, which is just like a lower quality version of DNX HD. Obviously 36, I thought always looked terrible, but once you get a little higher, the DNX HD high quality and using 10 bit, it looks pretty good. So I went with that and it definitely reduced my file sizes. And you'll notice I have audio turned off. That's just because all my visual effects, like I'm just bringing audio from Premiere to do them and then they're going back to Premiere where the audio is. But if I wanted to export audio with it, I would just click on the preset name, go down to audio and turn it on. Simple as that. And the reason I have a second preset is because a lot of times you want to export something with a transparent background, whether it be for titles or motion graphics. A lot of people need a transparent background and this is my preset for that. So it is QuickTime 444 Alpha. Again, I have my codec set to QuickTime and the format on this one is set to Apple ProRes 444. Funny story again, while working at Airbud, the final export of the movie would be set to Apple ProRes 444. Now for me, I really could use 422 or a lower ProRes, but again, I still want very large, or I should say very high quality files. So I have it set to this and a very important step you need to do to make sure the background is transparent is go under video output and change the channel to RGB plus alpha. That way it'll export it without the background. Well, I tried a lot of other settings with DNX HD and I could never really get the transparent background to work. So this is the one I set here. And again, I'll just say these are still large files. So if you're looking for smaller files, this isn't that, but it is smaller than lossless and the quality is pretty close to lossless I find. But those are, like I said, in After Effects, the high quality ones I want to bring those into Premiere. So at least in Premiere, I'm working with like the best of the best and then I could export to YouTube or something after that. For my Premiere settings, it's super simple. For exporting for web, I always use the same thing within Premiere. I use H.264 and I make sure I match the sequence resolution and frame rate. Then the most important step is you set VBR to two pass and you pick your bit rates from there. Now these bit rates change and vary on depending what kind of video I'm doing. For a video like this where I'm just recording my screen or if I'm just talking to the camera, I don't need a large bit rate. There isn't a lot of movement going on. So I can go say from 15 or even 10 to 20. But if I'm exporting of a large montage or a video I need in really high quality, I might even max these out because I know YouTube is going to compress them down anyways. So those are my three presets. Well, basically two presets and then what I do for <laughs> Premiere. Hopefully that's helped you guys and I'll catch you in the next one.